a, a auto tax auto tax adjustment for 1101 and that's going to go into the unclassified and the other is going to be auto tax adjustment and this is going to be 1101 i should put a description adj adjusting entry tax or auto let's say for second month and there we have it and then this is going to increase the this is going to increase the unclassified so this needs the class this is the tax adjustment so there it is once again having no impact on the net income uh, so it shouldn't be too intrusive to the bookkeeping side of things so if i go back on over run the report again so so now we've removed the 200 and we and we put on the books uh the 11 so the net adjustment then was was the 188 so if i go into this account then for example we have our adjusting entries or two adjusting entries that net out back down to zero and what is included in this month is then the parking 150 plus this 1101 plus 1101 which is the 16101 so pretty neat because then again it kind of gives us this this adjusting this tax adjusting entry worksheet just within uh quickbooks which is and it's not very intrusive because if i add this other account that just goes in and back out again now we could do the same thing if we had used this mileage stuff to figure our if we had some mileage deductions for uh the the personal for for say the medical and charity right i can sort by the by the by the charity and maybe i get a deduction for that but charitable deductions are much more complicated to kind of think about because they're on the schedule a and you might not be using the schedule a the rate is different and then there's a floor that you have to do so uh, so oftentimes it's more complicated to calculate the uh the, well there might not be a floor with charity but there is with the medical expenses so these two are more diff they're usually not as as big a benefit unless you had a lot of charity or medical expenses and they're not as straightforward because they're itemized deductions to calculate kind of as you're going because you so you kind of need tax software to actually figure what that's going to actually do but if you were doing your taxes and and you were wanted to have a nice worksheet to track what what you came up with for the tax adjustment for like charitable miles and or 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 uh, the medical miles that you calculated uh in the tax software you can use this similar method for entering into QuickBooks these kind of tax adjustments so that you can see the ending result for your net income on uh you know like a book basis and then the tax adjustments and then the tax basis giving you kind of a reconciliation so that if you have, there's an audit or something you can tie out to what you did on the tax return so there's that and then of course we did this on a on a two month basis so if i run this from let's go from 0101 Two three to twelve thirty one two three. Then now we have a, a similar thing for the for the whole year. The year to date, we made two adjustments on a monthly basis, which still kind of tie out here, so they still net out to zero. So if we did this for multiple months on a monthly basis or in multiple years, if we did this in the following year, this whole thing's just going to roll into equity. So it doesn't really bother the bookkeeping uh, much here because then it's going to wash out to equity. And, and if they're not using classes for anything else, it might not be uh, an issue for anything. And then, uh, and you can see here that if I looked at the totals, we can say this is going to be for taxes for the two months. It, uh, this ties out to the parking, which is deductible even if we do the plus we had then if i do this for the whole year plus the 34.43 which is at the yeah the 55443 and this 3443 should tie out over here if i was to say i want to just see all of this and then i want to see all of this and then what's where's my filters 
get out of here filters and then I want to see this just for the business boom business 3443 and that ties out to the 3443 uh, so just a couple some different ways that we could possibly utilize this mileage tracking tool